integrating technology into your classroom by Kalo Haslam. I jack out. First thing is draw a picture you're going to use as your background. So first things, I've already opened up a new file and I'm going to now use a image that I drew, or a picture I drew, and I'm going to insert it into here. So there's my image, it's ocean, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to make the background, it's always good when you're trying to do this with the iJack, is to make the background transparent, no fill. Now I'm going to add some text. I'm going to text and put sharks. And then I'm going to make this larger because it's going to be the title. And move it up top. Now, I'm going to add a shark that goes across and about partly through the animation it's going to have some information pop up. So I'm going to go to shapes, I'm going to go to animals, I'm going to scroll down to where all the ocean animals are at. There's my shark I'm going to use. I'll make it larger and I'm going to fill it black. And then I'm going to take it and I'm, so there's two ways to do this. You can either do it where you use your animate and you make your animation or you can do it where you make multiple slides. I'm going to make multiple slides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my shark kind of off the screen here so you can still kind of see a little bit. I'm going to now duplicate this slide here. You can do this to tell a story. You can do this to for about informational. You can do this for ecosystems and a whole bunch of integration. It can be science, it can be ELA, math related, anything like that. But you're basically making a GIF that's going to overlay over an image. So there's my shark. So now I'm going to add some facts. I'm going to click. I'm going, so it should look like this as it goes through the animation. So our shark's progressing, and then we have our thing pop up. Now I'm going to add another set of facts. So I'm going to So now it should look something like this as it goes through the GIF or GIF. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to export this. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to Export to Animate GIF. And I'm going to Export tra Backgrounds Transparent. I'm going to do my slides. I'm going to do 1. To 13. So there's two ways to do this. You can either do it with the picture in the background or you can delete it and it'll actually overlay over the picture. So let me go ahead and do that because that actually looks even neater. So I'm going to actually click on here and now that I have it I'm going to click and delete this picture that I have. I'm going to now go to file. I'm going to export animated GIF and I want 1 to 13. I want all of them. 1 to 13. Now, you don't want anything over 5 seconds, otherwise it won't work with Keynote. So about 5 seconds is normally rule. So if you want to make it shorter now, it's 4 seconds. If I make these durations longer, it changes. So we can do the one that says 5 seconds. Extra large normal resolution, larger resolution, the better that I've realized. I'm going to click Next. Then I'm going to save it as Shark, Shark Transparent Export. Now it's going to export it as a GIF. So now I'm going to open up my jack on my computer. I'm going to click begin. I'm going to find my picture. So it's right here. So I take my picture. I'm going to put it on there. So here's the picture I was using. The same one. This is giving it as the back of your image. This is what it's going to actually look for in the app. Click next. I'm then going to find the shark trans for shark transparent and notice you can't see it but you can kind of see it moving across here and stuff popping up that's the that's the gif and so i'm going to drop that there it's going to process it click create whether it be an iPad and a phone, uh, whether it be an Android, whatever you have, and you're going to use your phone and you're going to scan this code and then you're going to point that device at the image you drew and it will then overlay your shark that I made and the facts over the picture. So now on the iJack app, you scan the barcode, it will download it, 
Then when done downloading, you point to your artwork and you should see your GIF animated over the top of it. And because the background is transparent, you don't see there, you just see the chart, you see the facts, you see the title showing up. Integration opportunities are endless. So there was my shark one. Here is a story that I made about a guy walking down the city and I have the lamps turning off and turning on using Keynote as well. So ELA, science, integration.